1,000 days. That's the length of time journalist Austin Tice has been missing in Syria. At a White House press briefing, press secretary Josh Ernest started with this reminder. The heavy heart that earlier this week we marked American journalist Austin Tice's 1,000th day in captivity. Austin Tice was a Georgetown Law School student turned photojournalist. He won many prestigious awards, including the Polk Award for his reporting inside Syria. Ernest acknowledges a statement by the National Security Council spokesperson Bernadette Meehan, who says the U.S. government will continue its efforts to bring Tice home. Our thoughts and prayers are not just with Austin today, uh, but they're also with uh, his parents, Deborah and Mark, uh, and his brothers and sisters who uh, are missing him dearly. Tice disappeared on the outskirts of Damascus in August 2012. He traveled through the country taking photos like these. His goal to help the Syrian people share their story. Tice's parents have been trying to find any resource that can help bring him home. The last time he was seen was in this YouTube video, one month after his disappearance. It is not believed that he's being held by ISIS. We you know, are relying great part on the efforts of the U.S. government and the Syrian government, you know, to find us and to bring him safely home. And we think it's incredibly important that those two entities are talking to each other and working together. The family is working with Reporters Without Borders on a new campaign to get Austin's name and face out to the world. They started what's now being called a blindfold campaign to ask for support. The idea stems from the video where Tice is shown blindfolded in captivity. It's a symbol, certainly, of Austin's captivity, but it's also a symbol of what happens to the rest of us when journalists are silenced. Parents hope with the additional support of the U.S. government and their campaign, freedom for this journalist is not far off. Reporting in Yuma for ABC 5 News, I'm Christy Wilcox.